Hello. I am back to cut the soap I made yesterday. This is uh, Wonder. My little flowers are falling off. One should be pretty easy to cut because it did. I, I did have to gel it um, because it um it was it was it got really hot like almost right after I put it in the mold it felt really warm and I thought oh well better um, better just wrap this up and then it was I mean to the point where I was I was a little nervous it was going to overheat I was checking on it peeking at it really frequently just to make sure it wasn't going to crack or anything. So I'm just marking off my one inch lines here because I have a terrible eye for just going at it with without marks. Okay, so I'm going to cut out on the side obviously because um, of the flowers on top and I don't have my light set up so hopefully you don't have too many in. probably getting shadows I'm sorry I'll bring each bar up to the camera hopefully it'll avoid that shadow okay Just the end piece. I'm really tired at this point. It's uh, oh, about 10.30 at night. And uh, something I was working on today was new labels. Specifically labels for my... Um, body butter and um, perfume oils and that was not um, <laughs> certainly not a, something that I enjoy out of all this I'm happy when they're I'm happy when they're when I'm happy with them <laughs> when they're all designed and done and then just saved and when I need more and you just print them out or I can go into like the master one and just add a different um, set name for something new. But, uh, yeah, I was fighting a little bit with them. So this one came out pretty, pretty cool. Um, the, this top layer obviously pushed down pretty good into the middle layer, which I kind of thought was going to happen, um, because it got really thick on me by the time I was doing the top layer. So, it's definitely not a straight line. It's kind of just all mishmashed in there. But I like it. It's flowers out of the way. So this one, Wanderer, um, if you didn't see the making video, this is um, a blend of a very incensey nog champa and a few other um oh, I got a this one something drug down the side and caught a piece of flower right there. It's okay though. Um some floral notes and musk and like powdery it, it's it's really nice. It's hard to describe, but if you like Nog Champa and you like musky, kind of warm type scents, then you would like this one. And I'm doing a terrible job getting these straight today. Flowers everywhere. Little <laughs> calendula petals all over the place.
There's a straight one with an air pocket. Not too bad though. Nothing to stress over. And that side. So yeah, I like how the uh, I like how that middle layer with the soap shreds in it turned out. I definitely do. So yeah, the labels. Um, if anybody watching wants to recommend a good, tell me what software program you use for making labels. Um, the trouble I'm having is not technical so much, like with sizing them and whatnot. It's the graphic. They're just um, I'm not finding a way to get the little bit of gra I don't want crazy 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 graphics like pictures or anything I'm just trying to get like kind of a background design kind of what do you call that not an overlay but a, <laughs> a behind lay a back lay um, stuff like that and just little um, just little designs in like the corners and borders that sort of thing I mean it seems like such a simple thing I'm just not technologically uh, proficient I guess something I gotta work on it frustrates me I was got, I got frustrated today to the point where it like made me tired <laughs> I could have made five six batches of soap today and not been as tired as I was from working on that computer trying to get labels the way I want them so frustrating it didn't take me long to figure out like the dimensions like I you know I measured my jars and uh, figured all that part out easy enough but then they, I, I did them best I could and they just they're so plain I just want a little something something and I don't know how to do it and the kicker is my best friend and if she's watching this, she better be paying attention. Her husband is a graphic designer. <laughs> Has a degree. Does it for a living. Um, and he's definitely willing to help me. And she said that she would rem keep reminding him. But he's just, uh, he works a lot. So it's just finding the time to get over to their house and have him kind of walk him through what I'm looking for and have him help me out. You know what, this end piece is not going to come off all that well now because it's kind of soft, so I'll do that tomorrow. So, after I clean all these flower buds up, this is a nice crooked bar, huh? <laughs> this is Wanderer, and it came out, I have to say, for once. Uh, I didn't have any color troubles. It came out basically, uh, yeah, ex exactly like I wanted it to. Definitely what I wanted. With that wobbly middle layer with the shreds in it. Pretty rustic. That's what I was going for. Crazy with the flowers on top. Suits the scent. Suits the name. Um, and this is oh, and this is going to. I don't know if you, if the camera's picking it up just because my lighting's so bad in here right now. But you can see the kind of line on the outside that's darker. One of the fragrance oils is color. So it's not going to go like a dark chocolate brown type tan. Um, but it's going to, the top and bottom layers are going to darken up some. A little bit more than they are now. You can start to see it if the camera's picking it up. Yeah. Okay. So that's it. That's Wanderall Cut. I will see you next time. Thanks for watching. Bye.